Oh, well, I'll tell you what, it's not warm today. I am still an ascent, and I'm not feeling the love, to be honest with you. I think the last two days have kind of taken out of me. I don't know if you've watched them, but uh, I'm hoping that bad things don't come in three, and that this is probably third time lucky, but the last two days have been... Yeah, I've had to have plan Bs and plan Cs for those days, but today I'm hoping to go up this mountain behind me, Unfortunately, it's in the cloud at the moment, so fingers crossed that that clears. I'm a bit tired. I had a great night's sleep last night. I actually, um, after having to bail from the, the cave due to the thunder and lightning, I thought, so that I'm not spending another night in the, <laughs> in the car. And I uh, spent a spent night uh, with a bit of luxury in a pod at Loch Inver. It was called Mountain View Pod, if you're interested. Uh, it was lovely. Lovely and warm and cosy and toasty. Very, very comfortable. I even had a hot tub with a view to... Sullivan. Uh, it was just lovely. So I spent spent the evening last night sipping a few beers, sitting in the hot tub, and uh, watching the clouds scud by. It was windy, really windy, again last night. But today it seems, fingers crossed, it doesn't seem quite so windy. So let's see how far I get up this mountain, and, and hope that the weather improves. Let's go. So I set off full of enthusiasm and my hopes for good weather, well they quickly vanished as a big cloud rolled in off the sea and soon engulfed me in a blizzard. It was a bit disappointing to say the least. And I soon had to stop and get the hard shell on, the snow goggles on and all the warm wintry clothes to keep me warm from the elements. You can probably see it's snowing and it started snowing as soon as well, about 10 minutes after I left the car. I'm really hoping this is just a shower or it might just be up to the first mountain. And this mountain is actually a complex of three hills, well, more than three hills, but three uh, corbits. So let's just see. I'm really hoping now that I've got the waterproofs on and the glasses that the snow will go off, but at the moment. This has been on for a wee while, so I'll reassess when I get near the top of the first mountain. Ah, bloody hell. Ooh. Sunshine! As you can probably see, it stopped snowing, which is grand, just at the right point. I'm not on the summit yet, I've spun round. This is the top up here behind me, well, one of the tops. But I'm getting some lovely views now, I can see over to Glas Ven. And the sun's coming up over there, and then over here you've got Canisp and the mighty Sullivan. I don't know if you'll make it out in the GoPro. But I can see the next, <laughs> the next shower cloud coming in, so fingers crossed that it improves. But uh, yeah, I would have been, I was feeling a bit demoralised there in the snow and it just makes such a difference when it uh, when it goes off and the sun comes out so I'm going to shut up and try and get to the top of this first mountain and then I'll decide what I'm doing from there. Lovely. Right, let's go. From feeling rather depressed in the snow and the blizzard, my emotions were turned on their head as the sun came out and I stood above the lingering mists which were hovering over Ascent behind me. It was fantastic and I, I was soon making my way up the final slopes to the first mountain of the day.
After reaching the summit of the first mountain, I decided to head over the short distance to the rim of the quarry where I could look down into the quarry and also look over to the rest of the mountain. It was a fine morning. Look at this, it's absolutely fabulous. That's been the summit of the first mountain which is called Spidian, Spidian Konach. And I can see it's starting to clear now, which is lovely. I don't know if you can make out my broken spectre over there. Just sitting there and there was a lovely fog bow earlier on as well. It's absolutely fabulous. No, not a drop of wind in the summit. Well, that's a lie. There's a wee bit of wind, but not a very, very slight breeze. And this magnificent quarry below me. Wow. Right, I'm going to get a bite to eat here. And then decide about going on. I don't see why not, though. Brilliant. So I've got a nice wee spot to have a bit of brunch. And I was near the summit of Sbidian Konach, which means the peak of the moss. And from here I could see the rest of the complex and the seven other peaks, of which three were Corbett's. So oh, what a view I've got here. This is absolutely amazing. And the hill I'm on today is called Kunyag, and it's got three Corbett's on it. This is one of them, the one Spidi and Konach. And I think I'm going to continue, I'm going to head down on over the ridge. There's a Sail Gorm and Sail Garav over there. And the weather's improving, as you probably saw earlier on, it was, yeah, well, it was snowing for the first 45 minutes in the car. <laughs> and I was really, yeah, I was really a bit uh, despondent. I thought, if it's still snowing when I got up here, I'm just going to head back. But it's cleared up, as you can see. I've, my broken spectre's been following me up the ridge. It's been wonderful. The like, fog bows and all that sort of stuff. And the lighting's just amazing. So down here, you've got the, the snow-covered mountain of Kunyag. I can see down to Loch Inver, and this brown water speckled landscape typical of ascent the contrast quite stark it's absolutely brilliant so i think i've spent quite a bit of time up here just playing about the camera and just enjoying the views further south i can see down sulvan canis colmore colbeg all the kind of famous mountains of ascent and it's just uh, yeah hopefully it's going to be one of these days if it stays like this for the next few hours i'll be happy anyway i've only got about four or five hours left of sunlight so i need to get cracked on round so I'm going to get going and head up here. Let's go. Wow, what a day. So I headed off Spidey and Connach and just the ridge pulled me on. It was a lovely crest, a sweeping ridge pulling me on to the next summit before it dropped down again. And over to my right was the deep quarry with the lock and filling it. It was just one of those days. What a day to be up high. Fantastic. It's nice and quiet here, there's not much wind, so I thought I'd stop and do a wee piece to camera. And down here is the Bilak, which is the lowest point between the, once you're high in the ridge, it drops down here, and this is the lowest point on the ridge. You can see it's quite a steep pool up there on the other side. But it's just lovely, it's blue skies in there, there's a wee shower cloud out to sea over past Loch Inver, and I'm hoping it's going to stay there, because I need to get cracked on, I've got another three, three and a half hours of... Uh, uh, yeah, have daylight before sundown, so I've got my head torch and what have you. I might be coming down in the dark, but I'm really hoping to get to the car before then, so I can get back down the road. So, time for a steep pool. Let's go. It was a relatively steep pool up to the next summit, which wasn't a Corbett or even a named summit. It sits around about 740 metres. The views all around were just fantastic. You could see down to Sulvan and across Ascent and back to the other hills that I'd been up earlier in the day. And before long, I was reaching the top of this summit. Now there's a view, look at that. This is absolutely amazing. So I would probably say this point here, this is a 
Well, it's a summit, but it's not a name summit. I think this is at about 740 metres. And I can see the rest of the mountain now stretching out here towards the sea. Look at that. And I sail Gorham over there and sail Garav there, which will be the final one of doing the way back. I don't know if you can make out, but the, um, the sunlight's speckling through. The sun's kind of disappeared in the last wee while. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to complain because I wasn't sure whether I'd even get summit or cloud free summits when I came up and you know when I was over in Spiddy and Connacht it was just fabulous and that walk over from heat from, from that summit to this summit is just fantastic a lovely area ridge with the quarry steeply going down to a walker on one side and then the Lochin speckled landscape going out to the western height or the western seaboard out that way it's absolutely fabulous so that's the next top here you can see the, the ridge it's a funny wee sort of flat topped table down there but I can see the path winding its way up and I'm hopefully I'll be on the summit in the next hour and here comes the sun bang and cue absolutely fabulous superb right time to get going so off I headed again and dropping back down to another Bielach before rising up to the second Corbett of the day but down at this Bielach there's this lovely promontory almost like a plank heading out into the wilds of Assen and it was too good to not go along and investigate so I headed along this narrow spur to get a view from the end felt like I was walking the plank on a ship it had that feel about it View. Having teetered my way along this narrow rocky rib, I had to get back onto the path and yeah, get on my way back along to Sail Gorham, which was the second Corbett of the day. It was a bit of an outlier, this one. So it was a bit of a pull going out to it, knowing that I'd have to retrace my steps. But when I got there, it was well worth the effort. Oh, I'm being chased up the hill by this snow shower. It's coming in behind me. It's kind of engulfed. I've watched it coming. It's engulfed Sulvin and the other hills of Ascent as it's moved slowly, slowly north. And it's going to be with me shortly. So when I get to the summit, get a quite bite, bite to eat, and then head back through the snow shower by the looks of things, unless it blows itself out. But not far now. Ooh, God, I'm feeling tired. Well, that's me at the summit and Sail Gorham here and the views again are just spectacular you can see to the other northern mountains of Scotland Finehaven and Arkell and all these ones and then back over Cunyag where I've come from but over here at this point this is what steals the view but I'm just waiting for that snow to hit look at this wait till I turn around here you'll see this in just a minute Aston really is a fantastic place there's not that many Munros up here, it's mainly Grahams and Corbett's but my god are they spectacular Grahams and Corbett's just, just like this one second Corbett of the day let me just spin you around in a second keeping an eye on that snow what a place, look at this I'm not going to go too far down because I don't want to drop too much height, I've still got a fair bit to do but I turn round there's that snow shower <laughs> A look at that view down there, right out to the sea. Absolutely spectacular. Lovely, all these sea lochs making their way in. I think that's what makes this area, for me anyway, really special is the closeness of the sea. The mountains might not be that high, but you start most of them at sea level and you can get up and you get views out to the sea. It's absolutely fantastic. Don't get that in Switzerland. <laughs> 
but uh, anyway, I'm just going to get a wee bite to eat up here, it's about, I've got about an hour and a half till sunset and I've still got one mountain to go up, so I'm not going to hang around here, I'm going to go back to the summit, have some jelly babies and get cracked on to Corbett number three, which is in the snow now. Right, take my shot up and get going. Woo. I soon left the summit of Sail Gurum, which means the blue heel, and I had to retrace my steps back along the ridge before cutting off and heading up to the highest point on Kunyag, which is Sail Garav, and the third Corbett of the day. But by this point I was tired, and the top of that mountain didn't seem to be getting any closer. Sail Garav, which means the rough heel, was certainly living up to its name, and the last bit of ascent was very, very rough and very, very rocky, with a lot of verglass covering the rocks. Oh, that's me approaching the summit now. This is the top. I suppose this is the top of Kunyag. This uh, is the highest corbett out of the three. It's called uh, Sail Garav. I tell you what, it made me work for it. <laughs> when I came down to the Bilak, it didn't look like there was that far to go, but I just kept on going and going and going. <laughs> but I'm here now. It's about 809 metres uh, height, this one. As I said, it's the highest out of the three Corbett's. And it, the weather's kind of, it's, I wouldn't say it was bad weather now. In fact, it's still better than I expected. But there's the odd sort of snow shower wisping in off the sea. And just uh, just causing me to put my my ski goggles on to stop it stinging my eyes. So yeah, it's been a fantastic day. I mean, I can't recommend this mountain enough. I really wanted to keep it for a good day, and I wasn't too sure what today was going to turn out like, especially given the the disasters of the last few trips <laughs> and the way this one started. To be honest with you, but that that first summit, Spiddy and Connick. The Brock Inspectors and the fog bows this morning and the sunshine and the snow and oh, it was just lovely. And the rest of the walk's been fantastic. I don't know if you can make out behind me. That's still got on. That's the second Corbett I was on just a wee while ago. And you can just see the the blues and the browns of the sea where the snow hasn't got down to. It's just lovely. Anyway, it's 2.30 now. I've got about an hour until the sun goes down. So I reckon I'll be just pushing it to get back to the car. So it seems like a good place to end this, I suppose, end this trilogy. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed these uh, these three vlogs from out and about in Scotland. It's been it's been good fun, albeit it hasn't all gone to plan. So I'm going to end it here. And uh, yeah, just thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Right, take a get back to the car. <laughs> <laughs>